Hey, 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 guys, it's Ashley from Not A True Reviews, and today we're unboxing Grandma in a Box. This is a monthly, adorable, themed candy and cookie crafting subscription. I have cat hair all over my face because I was just snuggling up to my cat. Whew. Okay, so in here you have everything you need to complete 15 to 20 finished candy slash cookie crafts. Um, this was invented, invented, or the premise was uh, concocted by a grandmother who has long distance grandchildren and she kind of wanted to spend time with them, obviously, but wasn't able to travel. So she'd send them these little packages of like cookies and candies that they could make and it was supposed to remind them of her. And that's the whole idea behind this. Um, super cute. You could obviously do this with anybody. It's $20 a box, but if you sign up for sub a subscription, the auto renewing, you can just do a gift box as well. Um, it's only $10 a box. Uh, so this is uh, like one of our favorites. It's just a good box. The, the crafts are always well thought out, easy and quick and cute. You know what I mean? All, they hit all the requirements for little kids. Like it's hands-on, it's simple, it's not confusing, it's easy for them to do these. The older kids love it too. It, and everything is just like, oh, I did that. They're like, I need that. It's a very good feeling. So anyway, I will link down below to my full review because we always do them all. I take pictures and I show you like our finished creations and we're always really <laughs> pumped. Um, they don't last long. My kids like to steal food. Uh, I don't know if anybody else out there has that problem. If your mom and your children steal food, what do you do? I'm curious. What do you do? Like, are they, is there punishment? Like, are you like, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> do you look the other way sometimes? Because I know there are times when I do, I'm just like, I don't know if that's the hill I want to die on today. All right. So this is our Easter mix. This is spring cookies and candy. Welcome to the April 2019 Grandma in a Box. This month we have three new projects with a spring theme, including marshmallow flower pops, crunchy bird's nest, and spring themed cookies with frosting and sprinkles. Um, she does have a Facebook page and a YouTube where she does step-by-steps. Um, uh, the deadline to subscribe for the May box is May 3rd. Um, and then the back here lists each of the items that come in the box. So we're going to be doing these marshmallow flower pops, uh, crunchy bird's nest. These are actually really fun um, and they kind of taste good, but don't tell anybody I ate any. And then always the third is uh, cookie decorating, which is where I, I know I've seen some reviews of this box where they like, it's a very clear that the children did not decorate those cookies. I prefer to really let the kids go in there and just use their imagination, have fun, make a mess. This is life. Let them do their thing uh, rather than some artificial stuff. Anyway. <laughs> so first up, we have these little um, pastel colored marshmallows and some popsicle sticks. I remember using these in biology to create cells. Do you remember that? I don't know if you did that. I don't know. Um, so those will obviously be used for our marshmallow flower pops. Then we've got these, ooh, yummy. Oh, these are sesame sticks, aren't they? Like the little noodles. You know what? Oh my gosh, I gotta stop. First of all, these are delicious. I saw this bird's nest on Pioneer Woman, who out there watches Pioneer Woman, like this video if you love whatever her name is, I forget it now. <laughs> So I'm gonna put it down below. Um, she made these. They did like a cookie, uh, like a pseudo cookie swap, but she made all the cookies. And this one, she like covered them in chocolate. And they're like, she called them like haystacks or something. But this is gonna be for our bird's nest. Um, sorry, I'm so itchy because I have cat hair. Our melting chocolate this month is yellow. So there is that. There's a little item in there. Um, so this you melt and then you use it probably for the first two projects, typically. All right, then we have some pastel like M&M types. These aren't actually M&Ms, I don't think. Oh my gosh, I could eat, by the way, this entire thing. Like these are so good. And by the way, they, she does list all the ingredients. Everything's on there if you have allergies and they put she puts all the ingredients. There's transparency, you know? All right, for our cookie decorating, we have three packets of frosting in yellow, pink, and blue. Super cute. These are fun colors. Very fun, very spring. Um, then we have some, these are definitely gonna be used in our cookie decorating, some blue uh, crystal sugar. Then these little pastel dots, I wanna call them. Then there is this gold sugar 
which is really pretty, to be honest. Next up, we have some, there's usually six of these little cupcake, mini cupcake liners. These are actually look like Reese's cups. So there's three, four, five, six. Yes, six in total of those. And then we have some jelly beans. These are, ooh, they are jelly bellies. I have one in time, my husband. He ha like has to do this. He loves jelly bellies. So we go to Costco and we get the giant thingamadoodle. It's like this big. And I'm not like trying to eat them, but they're there and I end up eating a few. I don't actually eat that many, I eat like six. <laughs> a day, but still. Why? Why do you do this to me? So there's a little container of those. And then for our cookies we have, it looks like, um, what is that, a bird? Yeah, it looks like a dove, maybe? And then eggs, and then chicks right here, and then eggs on the back for that one. So we have two big chicks, two big eggs, two little eggs, two little birds. Is that a bird? I'm trying to figure out. What do y'all think? Maybe it's, oh, it's a rabbit. Duh, I knew it. It's a rabbit. There you go. So that's great. For 20 bucks, you get all this. You have your eight cookies. Marshmallows and popsicle sticks are melting chocolate, which is beautiful. This color is really pretty, by the way. Um, our six cupcake liners are little, these noodles things. I don't know if they're noodles. Whatever. The crispy, delicious things. Jelly bellies. Crystal sugar. Two of those. Um, our, oopsie. Are these things? Our m and I love my descriptions. These, those, and those. And our frosting. Um, if you're interested in seeing what we create, uh, please check out the full review. I'll link to that below. I'll also link to Grandma in a Box so you can check them out if you're interested. As always, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.